Hello, this is Sneaky and welcome to Tapping That Sass. Today, I want to show you how to get the most amount of K-Drive experience slash vent kids standing as quickly as possible. Uh, somebody asked me about it today, and so here we are. Um, we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to assume that you don't know anything about K-Drives. The very first thing that you need to do, assuming that you have one, is to bind it on your gear wheel. And once you've done that, you can simply click on it to whip it out. Uh, so go ahead and whip it out now. I know you're very good at whipping it out. You should be very experienced with whipping it out. So go ahead and whip it out now. Once you do, you can start driving by holding the forward button. And there are only two things that you need to know at this point in order to be able to do the tricks that we're going to do. The first thing that you need to know is how to jump. It's very difficult. You need to hold down the space bar. Oh my god. It's, it's tough, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> the second thing that you need to know how to do is grind. Uh, now, for most people... Uh, let's go in here to options, key bindings. For most people, uh, grind is, i.e. crouch, uh, is going to be the control button. I have rebound mine onto my mouse because my left hand is kind of messed up. But that's alright for you, it's going to be control. Um, so normally when you are on your drive and you find the corner of something, you hold down the control button, you will grind on said corner, and you'll start to get some points. So for the purposes of this, we want to grind on something that's really, really long so we can get a really, really lot of points. Uh, so we are down here at the Pearl, which is southwest of Fortuna, where there is a circular grinding area. Now, we can't just grind forever. There are three, let's call them diving boards, jutting out over this circular grinding area that we're going to have to jump over. So essentially, we're going to hop on this, we're going to start grinding using a, the control key, and then we're going to hop over the uh, diving boards and just keep going. And that is going to look something like this. Jump over the old diving board. Now, when you jump over the diving board, you do have to release the grind button, and then you'll press it again as you land to continue your grind. You cannot hold the grind button the entire time. That will do something weird and strange. Uh, but you'll notice in the bottom right, we're getting points. Now, this is not a lot of points. It's not a fast amount of points, but there are points nonetheless. So, how do we get more points, you say? Well, we get more points by doing tricks. Now, the simplest trick you can do is a double jump. The game calls it a copter. You can also fall off your board, but that won't help you. So let's get back on our board. And I will show you what it looks like to do a simple double jump over one of these boards. It's simply, instead of just jumping by pressing spacebar, we're going to press spacebar twice. So we're grinding. Double jump. Yay! And you see in the bottom right, we got a copter. And we keep jumping. But, oh no, it's calling me a copy Well, That's funny, funny Warframe lingo for copycat. Uh, and basically what it's telling us is that we did the same trick twice in a row. And it doesn't like that. It thinks we're unoriginal bastards. And it's not going to give us any more points. So you could go around here all day grinding and, and doing copters. And it will call you a copy of that. And you'll get a little bit more points than just grinding alone. But it's still, it's not the most points you could get. Uh, because we're still a copy of that. So the answer to that is to put a different type of jump between the double jumps over the diving boards. So... This is where uh, you need to pick one of two jumps. Uh, now, there are all types of tricks that you can actually put between the diving boards, but for the purposes of this, we're going to do very simple. Um, when you jump, if you hold the left mouse button, uh, you will do a nose clutch. Or if you jump and hold the right mouse button, you'll do a nose planker. Very, very simple. You just need to pick one. I do a nose planker. I use the right mouse button, but you can use the left. Or you can do a more complicated jump. It doesn't really matter. But the general idea, and the final sequence that we're going to do to get all the fancy, fancy points, is to grind around this circle. We're going to double jump over the diving boards, and between each of the diving boards, we're going to put a regular jump. So it's going to think that we're doing a double jump over the diving boards, then a fancy jump, then a double jump. It alternates, gets rid of the copy cavette, points go up like crazy, and hopefully I won't screw this up on the first try. It's going to look something like, like this. Double jump. Fancy jump. Double jump. Fancy jump, double jump, and you'll notice in the bottom right, now our points are going up. The multiplier is going up, and essentially what you want to do is wait until that number reaches about 3,000 multiplied together. This is math. You'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, and then hop off. And that's it. 3,000 is the most amount of faction that you can get in a single jump. You want to do 3,000 faction. You want to end the jump. Uh, and then you can hop right back on, do another series of... Uh, of 3,000, and rinse and repeat, being a boring, unoriginal bastard, but confusing the game a little bit whilst doing it, and getting the most amount of faction points. And that is it. <laughs> this, I believe, is the fastest way 
to get 3,000 points repeatedly as quick as possible. Um, now, the game is a little bit weird. When you get 3,000 points, you're not actually getting 3,000 faction. You're getting a quarter of that in faction, so you get 750 faction. And if you remember, uh, you were, the maximum amount of faction you can get per, per day is 10, or is 1,000 times your MR plus 1,000. So if your MR is 20, you can get uh, 20,000 plus 1,000. You can get a maximum of 21,000 faction a day. Um, and I just ended a trick early there. Just just ignore that. I'm going to stop now before I mess another one up. Um, but trust me when I say, as soon as you practice this a little bit, you could just do it over and over again. So you get 750 faction every time you go around the circle. Um, you just divide your maximum faction by 750, and you know how many times you need to go around. Uh, for me, it takes 10-12 eh, minutes to get my maximum daily faction, and then we're all done. Now, the game does not want you to do it this way, and I agree that it is boring, and we're kind of tricking it a little bit, but... If you want to get the most faction as quick as possible, this is the best way I know. So I hope it's helped you. If you have any questions about the method or you have a faster way of getting the, the faction, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.